peer pressure and avoiding wrong choices. Peer pressure is defined as when your friends, classmates, or other kids your age, who are your peers, influence you or pressure you to do something. Peer pressure can be positive, which means good, or negative, which means bad. Usually when we talk about peer pressure, we're talking about negative peer pressure. And that's what we're going to talk about today. But first, let's talk about one example of positive peer pressure. Your friend gets a 100 on an ELA test. As a reward, the teacher gives him a free homework pass. So he doesn't have to do homework tonight. You want a free homework pass. You ask your friend how he got a 100. And he said, I studied really hard for every night for 10 days. You decide to study really hard every night for the next test, and you get a 100. This is positive peer pressure because you got pressure from your friend to make a good choice. But let's talk about what negative peer pressure looks like. During socialization, your friend says that a bunch of other kids are going to ask to go to the bathroom during the next class and then just go hang out. He said that no one will get in trouble because you asked to go to the bathroom, so it's not eloping. First of all, that's not even true. If you ask to go to the bathroom, the expectation is you go right to the bathroom and go right back to class. So you would be eloping if you went anywhere else or even if you were just hanging out in the bathroom. You will probably get in a lot of trouble. And also, if you leave class for a long period of time, you're missing an opportunity to grow your brain. This is negative peer pressure because leaving class to hang out is a bad choice. What are some things which are wrong to do? Steal, cheat, lie, or make fun of other people. All four of these things are negative or bad choices. If someone asks you to do these things, it is negative peer pressure. Always think first. Look at the problem. What does my friend want me to do? Is it good or bad? Kind or mean? Healthy or unhealthy? Legal or illegal? Is it something my parents or teachers would be proud of? Then think of the consequences or the results of what will happen. What could happen if I do it? Imagine any possible good results. Will you learn something? Will you be helping someone? But also imagine any possible bad results. Can I get hurt? Will I get in trouble? Could someone else get hurt or in trouble? Then think about your action. Should you do it? Will you be proud of your choice afterward? Would your parents or teachers be proud of your choice? How can you avoid peer pressure? Always say no to negative peer pressure. It is hard to say no to our friends, but if they are good friends, they will understand. Sometimes we want to fit in with our friends, and we want to do the things that they say are cool or right. If your friend is telling you that you're a baby or a loser because you don't do something that you know is wrong, you should still say no, and maybe think about the kinds of friends that you want to have. Remember these skill steps. One, think about what the other children want you to do. Two, decide what could happen if you do it. Three, decide if it is wrong to do. Four, if it is wrong, say no in a nice way. Five, if asked, tell why you decided not to do it. Let's practice with two examples. Here's the problem. Your friend asked to borrow your homework because he didn't do it last night. He says if you don't give it to him, you will be uninvited to his birthday party this weekend. 
Let's think about the consequences of this action. If you do give him your homework, you get to borrow, you get to go to your friend's birthday party and have a lot of fun. You're helping your friend in the short term. But let's think about the bad results. Copying homework is cheating, and I will probably get in trouble from my teacher, who will definitely tell my parents. Also, this does not help my friend learn, so it's not helping him really in the long run. He won't learn the information, and then he won't know it for the test. And who knows, he might ask to copy from my test too. Action. I should probably not do it. I would not be proud of myself if I left my friend cheat. I know my parents and teachers would not be proud of me either. Problem two. There's a dress down day coming up at school. You don't have money to pay, so you'll probably just wear your uniform. Your friend says, that's dumb. Just steal money from your mom. She won't notice. Let's think about the consequences. Good results. I will get to dress down on Friday. There's only one. Bad results. Stealing is a very bad choice. My mom will probably be extremely mad at me and I will definitely get in trouble for stealing. Action. I should probably not do it. I would not be proud of myself if I stole from my mom. And I know my parents and teachers would not be proud of me either. Making the right choice. Some of your peers might make fun of you for making the right choice. The most important thing to remember is that you are the only person who will pay the consequences for your actions. So it doesn't matter what other people think. You will be seen as a good person if you continue to make the right choices throughout your life, at school and at home. Finding friends who support you in making good choices is very important. If you are having trouble with making a right choice, you can always go to your parents or teachers to ask for help. And if you are ever confused as to whether you're making the right choice or the wrong choice, think about our skill steps and the problem-solving strategies we talked about today. That's the end of our lesson on peer pressure. The moral of the story is, none of us should ever be making anyone feel like they have to do something that they don't want to do or that they think is wrong. If someone ever tries to make you feel like you're a loser or you don't fit in, or your baby because you won't do what they want you to do, it might be time to find other people to hang out with. If you ever need help, always go to a parent or a teacher and ask for advice or for help in a situation. But remember, you all know what the right thing to do is. You all know how to be a great person. So be a great person. Make the right choices. And never, ever make anyone feel left out because of the choices that they think are right.